here's hoping that it works this time. Uh, boy, you know, as long as you may think it's been <laughs> since I posted the last episode, it's felt longer over here because so much has gone down since, uh, well, at least since I were just recorded what went up on the channel as part three. And hopefully you're actually hearing what I'm saying right now. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Still no idea what the hell went wrong there, but um, all indicators are, again, that it's actually working. So, dare I hope? I'm going to try to only play for a half hour this time instead of the hour I usually do, and, you know, play for an hour and then split it into two parts, just because I don't want to... Losing a half hour's worth of audio is not quite as bad as losing an hour's worth. So, um, if you decide to skip part three altogether, and can't say I'd blame you if you did, uh, what you missed was a trip to the gym with Craig, who we are not going for in this playthrough. I, I announced the winner of the poll. It was Damien, a.k.a. Goth Dad. Uh, we did the cookout that had the glorious pun run. We ran into Damien at uh, Dad Goth and Beyond. We learned about Dad Book. Not necessarily in that order. So, um... Yeah, it has been way too long. So, let's jump... Let's jump back in. <laughs> Right. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Huh. Pretty fun party, don't you think? Let's see. Oh man, I'm trying to remember which one I did last time. And then, uh, I think I did. I felt like I was at a networking event last time, so let's go with. Wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time I've seen my dad and like the my my character dad. Let me re. re this is the first time I've seen my character in like a month. I'd, I'd forgotten that he looked like that. Sorry about the laugh earlier. You and Daisy seemed like you were having a way better time than I was. Yes. Because we were. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. Dot, dot, dot. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. By the way, we have a new mouse on this computer now, so not so much of the accidental double clicking and missing bits of dialogue. Hooray! Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Can you blame them? It's cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Hmm. Actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Hmm. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Oh, this part. Okay, this is one part. Uh, there's this part coming up here in the game that I don't particularly care for because you don't get to choose and oh my god I have the window closed how am I still hearing that train uh, and this isn't being recorded through Audacity so I can't edit it out great well you're hearing train noises folks sorry about that anyway yeah, my, my point is that you know well if you've played this game you already know what's coming but if you haven't what happens is Amanda come home, comes home late and now, if it was, it would be one thing if overreacting was a choice. You know, overreact, react, underreact, you know, something like that. That I, that, I would totally accept that. But the fact that overreacting is the default, and you can't change it. You can apologize for it later, or you can double down on it, whatever. That you get that choice. But the freaking out... That happens no matter what, and I don't like that. So, yeah, here we go. The first episode of the Dream Daddy Let's Play <laughs> that I'm recording in, like, a month, and we get to, like, the one part of the game, apart from those really bullshit mini-games on the mat path, and yes, I'm still bitter about that. It, just it, The one thing between, you know, player character and Amanda that I don't like. So, anyway... Mm -hmm. Says you 
got it. Okay. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Okay. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Hmm. Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No. I've never done that, and I will never hmm. do that. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I... Uh... My plans were kinda to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna... Let's see, which one did I pick last time? I think it said to see how long I can sleep for, so let's do... Work on some stuff. You know, dad stuff. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Ah. Great, see you later. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. By total coincidence, the Twitter user named based uh, named Baked Alaska is also devoid of any real substance. Yeah, if you haven't figured out my political leanings watching this channel by now, you haven't been paying attention. All right. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Here comes the part I don't like. Hey kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach to the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of... socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only not assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. I really don't like this part, you guys. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Because the MP and MR joke wouldn't work? Who's Emma B? That's right, I forgot he said that. Okay. At least I'm getting one chuckle out of this sequence. I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup? Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. This, again, I don't like this part. If this was an optional thing, that would be fine, but... And, you know, in, in real life, just being blasé about it probably wouldn't be very good either, but maybe just a slight, uh, you know, you're late, right? You know, just a, a flat reminder... Maybe a minor admonishment, but n no. Player character goes into full freakout mode, no matter what. It's like playing Mass Effect 2 Arrival all over again. Why didn't you answer my texts? Okay, fair question. Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, oh whoops. Guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann. Mm -hmm. Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? 
Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew, and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. See, again, I would be okay with this if it was optional. I know I keep harping on that point, but... In fact, I've harped on that point so much, I'm just going to shut up about it now. Mm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. No hard turn here. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? Okay, here at least you get a choice. I am not picking I don't like your attitude because... You know, even though it's not one, even though it's one I've not picked before, I just can't bring myself to do it. It's just like going back to Mass Effect. I mentioned like about a minute ago, there are just certain choices in that game I can't bring myself to make, like at all. You know, call me a wuss if you have to, but I don't care. All right, so let's see. I have a right to be concerned, and I was scared. I'm trying to remember which of these is the least unreasonable. Well, obviously, I have a right to be concerned is fair enough. I was scared. I think it's a bit much, honestly. I mean, I'm not a parent, so who knows? Maybe in real life I would be selecting I don't like your attitude from my selection. But, yeah, I'm just going to go with... Oh, on the other hand, I think I clicked I have a right to be concerned last time. Shit. All right. Let's just go all in on this. I was scared. You weren't responding, and it was just... It was just like when your dad... I have to stop myself from tearing up. Oh. Dad, I didn't mean to... Okay, that text did not match the sound effect at all. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just... Please don't do that again. Uh. Uh. All right. I'm gonna go to bed now. Ooh. Okay. Good thing I picked that option, because I remember that sequence being much worse last time I played this. Amanda closes the door to her room, and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Oh. I thought about what you said last night. Hmm. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it, and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Oh. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... Let's see... I, I did the I'm sorry for freaking out on you last time. Uh, let's go with just plain good. Ah. Eggs. You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already did. Right. Bless you. Amanda scarfs down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's Dad Book? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a social media platform. Wait. Hmm. What? What's a social media platform? Okay, we're back into the funny now. Dad, I have to go to school. <laughs> Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. <laughs> Amanda spends the next couple minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which as it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Alright, Pops, we gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Okay, here's another one where I gotta try to remember what I did last time so I can do something different. Let's see. Oh, okay, I definitely remember what I picked last time on this one was torment my children with dad puns. So let's go with... Sink into blissful oblivion. Sleep. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? I think I picked uh, a boat option.
obviously, last time. Let's go with, uh... Yeah. Jimmy Buffett reference for the win. There we go. What are your turn-ons? What did I pick last time? Uh, I think I went with comfortable with crying last time, so let's go with... Uh, well, manicured lawn. Why the hell not? What did you want to be when you grew up? Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Um, what did I pick last time? I don't remember. Uh, let's, let's say pro skater who was also an astronaut. I, I don't know. What's your favorite movie genre? Uh, whatever will make me cry, I think, is the one I picked last time. Let's try old comedies that haven't aged well. Anything on laser disc? Sean Connery's entire filmography. Some things in here don't react well to bullets. More documentaries. And let's go with old comedies that haven't aged well. Ideal date. Uh, being emo I think I picked being emotionally vulnerable last time, didn't I? Eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m., doing a thousand piece puzzle together, napping together. That's a good one, too. Uh, uh, so let's go with doing a thousand piece puzzle together. There we go. What do you never leave home without? Sensible cardigan, my sick vape, my book of world jumbles and a pen. I think that might have been the last one I picked last time. Uh, a cool knife, my cripplingly low self-esteem. Low blow game, low blow. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. Uh, you don't want to go with a sensible cardigan, just cause. I spend a lot of time thinking about... Conspiracy theories, how proud I am of my child, potential ends of the world, if I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. When can I next get a cup of coffee and lawnmower modifications? Okay. Um, I think I did the how proud I am of my child last time. Let's go with something a little bit more realistic for 2017. I spent a lot of time thinking about potential ends of the world. Profile complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. All right. You should message one of them. Or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay. I promise I'll make sure. some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, Dad. Welcome. You've got dads. Okay. So, the last time I played this... I went ahead and did ones for Brian, Robert, and Joseph just because before really focusing on the map path. Again, the one with the bullshit minigames that I keep harping on and I should stop. I, I know, I know, I know. Uh, we're going with Damien this time. Uh, I just saw the first date with Craig on Rantasmo's Let's Play. So let's, let, let's see something I haven't seen before. I'm not, again, don't worry, folks. You voted for Damien. Damien's the one I'm going for. And I'm going to do the first date with Brian again later because I want to see if I can improve my score on the golf mini game. Because there's like an achievement for that. So let's go with. Um, yeah, let's go. We're going to go with Hugo on this one. And I think I'll be skipping Joseph this time, which is a shame because that first date thing does include more of the creepy twins and. You know, speaking of things I keep going on about with this game, I keep talking about how much I love the creepy twins. Alright, so. Hugo Vega, middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. Friday night, most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. One thing to take with you into Desert Island, a remembrance of things passed by Marcel Proust. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. It's French. What are your turn-ons? Muscles. What did you want to be when you grew up? Movie star. Theater movie genre. Documentaries on art history. Ideal date. Each of us reads a different book on opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. <laughs> nice. Never leave home without my glasses. Actually, I forget them at home a lot. I spend a lot of time thinking about. I worry that people who were against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. A fair point. I can't really argue with that.
did you just... <sighs> that did not just happen. Okay, um, I just got a message, and I think this thing stopped working, so I'm going to check on that. 